Bet y'all don't know nothing about this, do you? So I got a Sundown SAZ1500D on my test bench. Been using it to run my speakers, some miscellaneous stuff lately. It literally has two 8 gauge grounds, two 8 gauge positives running down here to a distribution block that has two 4 gauge wires running down to this excess power battery. It's a single 14 volt excess power battery. Right now I've got it on a charger so it's got a hot 15 volt charge right now 15 point something so basically most amps are rated at 14.5 volts so that's what I'm doing here got the 14 volt battery it's charging on this little charger this is not a power supply it's just an IntelliCharger trying to bring it up to uh, its maximum charge and uh, well what we're gonna do here right away is go straight to dynamic RMS because what I wanna do is I wanna find out if this te this amp would pass the test in a car. So there's three different modes you can use on this, certified, uncertified, and dynamic power, and that's RMS, that is not peak. So that's basically what you would see in a car if you're playing music. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I got the CD in here, and I'm gonna hit uh, mode. I'm gonna go down to dynamic power run, hit enter. I'm gonna choose mono because I'm gonna try to drop this thing down to about 0.8 ohms, a little bit lower than one ohm. I'm sure that this amp can go down to half an ohm, but from what I hear anyways, but we'll do 0.8 just to keep it around one ohm. Got the jumper installed. Hit next. We're gonna choose the load, which is gonna be, you can do anything you want and see what this thing does at four ohm. If you'd like, oops, went a little too far. 0.8. I'm sure if I brought this down to 0.6 I can get even more power out of it. So 0.8 and we're gonna hit enter. Use track 1 or 2. I'm gonna use track 1 since it's 40 Hertz. Hit pause. Start the dyno. Now it's waiting for me. We got the, the uh, Sundown SAZ 1500D. Let's see what she does. Turn the volume all the way up. Okay, this deck doesn't distort until 33, I already know that, so. Let's go ahead and uh, unpause this track. Let's do it. Got the SND voltmeter sitting up top. Sixteen hundred and sixty-three watts, 0.8 ohms, fourteen volts. Now I can tell by the way this thing was dimming that that poor little battery down there needed some help. So I'd imagine if you had a couple of those, or if you had a high output alternator putting out, you know, fourteen point eight solid volts with no lag, you would definitely get the rated power and a little bit more out of this amp. So congratulations to the Sundown SAZ fifteen hundred D. It looks like it actually passed the basic RMS dynamic test. What are you saying? I need to run this motherfucker at a half an ohm? Alright man, let's do it. I'm gonna do this shit at a half an ohm. Reset the dyno. Go back to track one. Hit pause. This shit's ready to go. Oh, no, that's still at 0.8 ohms. So I gotta exit. Gotta go to dynamic. Enter. Mono. Next. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Going to going to half an ohm, like you said. Woo! I don't I hope the dyno can handle it. I think it can. Okay. 
Start dyno. Sundown apple handle it. The sundown apple handle it? Yep. You sure? You sound pretty confident, yep. man. Legit. All right, Dirt Floor Custom said it can handle it, so let's see. Start dyno. Hit, uh, hit unpause, and here we go. Hey, I think Jacob's gonna be awfully happy with us, man. <laughs> it's probably a new like 2100, 2200 watch, I bet. Uh, nope. 2019, though. Oh. 2019? 2019, baby. Good shit, man. Sick as fuck. Well, hey, man, do I got your permission to put your voice on video tonight? Yes, you do. All right, cool. I was gonna, anyways. All right, just to set the record straight on the Amp Dino 81, it's really not all about how well the amp does on the test bench or whether or not it puts out the rated power on the test bench. I mean, it's good to know that the amp is capable of doing that, but the true spirit of the Amp Dyno 81 is to know whether or not your car can let that amp put out the power that it wants to put out. In other words, if you've got a four gauge ground and a zero gauge power wire going from the front to the back, well, your 1500 watt amp might only do 1200 watts. But if you upgrade your alternator, get a better battery, uh, who knows? You might be able to bring that thing up to do 16, 17, maybe even a couple thousand watts. But that's pretty much how it goes. That's what it's all about. Can your car make the power? Is the little bit of wire that you changed going to make a difference? It might be 200 watts. You don't know. These little tiny things add up. So the Amp Dino 81, the only way to find out.